From the deep well of time, on the sun-scorched plains of Africa, a story begins. Our story. It starts in a world in flux millions of years ago, as ancient forests receded, replaced by an endless ocean of grass. And here, a new kind of creature made a momentous decision. It stood up. To stand on two feet was to see further, to spot danger, and to see opportunity. But most of all, it was to free the hands. And with free hands, the mind began to ignite. This was the age of the first tool makers, the first problem solvers. They were called Homo habilis, the handyman. They did not inherit the earth, they earned it. Every sunrise was a victory, every sunset a truce in a relentless war for survival against a world of giants. This is the story of one of those days. In the crucible of the African savanna two million years ago, Life is a fragile balance. Here, among our earliest ancestors, the rhythm of existence is dictated by two simple truths, the hunt for energy and the avoidance of danger. But in this world, danger does not wait for you to be ready. It is swift, silent, and absolute. The python, an ancient titan of this land, kills not from malice, but from a primordial instinct as old as the land itself. For the hominin, this is not a battle of equals. It is a struggle against an inevitable, suffocating force. A fight for one more breath. Survival is a currency paid in calories. And here, an unguarded nest presents an opportunity too great to ignore. A treasure trove of protein, stolen from the very predator that stalks them. It is a high-risk, high-reward strategy, a gamble taken every day on the plane.
the price of a single mistake is steep. When one is taken, the alarm ripples through the small band. This is the fundamental strength of these early humans, a power the solitary python can never possess, the community. The knowledge that survival is not an individual struggle, but a collective one. They attack not with fangs or venom, but with crude tools and a ferocious courage born of loyalty. They are small, weak, and hopelessly outmatched, yet they fight. In this frantic, desperate battle, we see the dawn of something new. Not just the instinct to survive, but the will to fight for one another. Victory is not glorious. It is exhausting, and it comes at a cost. But here, in the quiet aftermath, another uniquely human trait emerges. Not aggression, but compassion. Not instinct, but tenderness. An act of care that reaffirms the bonds holding this fragile society together. The attack was more than a fight for life. It was a lesson written in pain. The land is fraught with peril. The old ways of hunting and gathering are no longer enough. A traumatic memory now fuels a new kind of exploration. A search not just for food, but for safety. And then, a revelation. A new world of sustenance, teeming with life, and free from the suffocating grip of the python. This is more than a meal. It is a spark of ingenuity. A monumental discovery born from tragedy that will change their destiny forever. The moment an ancestor looked past the land, and saw the promise of the water. <laughs> they learned that day that the greatest predators could be overcome not by strength alone, but by working together. And that the greatest leaps forward are often taken on the edge of despair. It is a story of survival, of community, and of the birth of an idea. A single step 
on the long journey to becoming human.